Hey, it's Nikachu, and today we are going to take a look at the most expensive Magic the Gathering deck in action. Today's match is going to feature Brian Wiseman, who is a prominent figure in the old school MTG community, and he'll be facing off against Peter Atkinson, the original CEO of Wizards of the Coast, and they will be playing by the very first set of rules ever for Magic the Gathering. That means decks can be 40 cards. There are no mulligans, so you have to keep every starting hand. There are no cards that are banned or restricted. And there is no limit to how many copies of a card you can play. And no sideboards. Brian's deck was designed and owned by Daniel Chang from Vintage Magic. The strategy is simple. We're going to play cards like Black Lotus and Mox Sapphire, which cost nothing to cast, to add mana in order to cast our spells, like Ancestral Recall, which for a blue lets us draw three cards. We can chain multiple Ancestral Recalls to basically draw our entire deck. We do this until we can find our win conditions. War Mammoth and Hill Giant, both being creatures that can attack for three. And once they're played, we can cast Time Walk. For two mana, we get to take an extra turn after this one. We'll keep playing Time Walk to get extra attacks until our opponent is dead. The idea of the deck, the premise of the deck, is for them not to ever, ever have a turn. And if we somehow run out of cards to play, we can cast Cast Time Twister, which for three mana essentially says each player shuffles his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library, then draws seven cards. Brian's opponent, Peter Atkinson, is actually playing the same deck, except his win condition is Juggernaut, which for four mana is a 5-3 creature that must attack each turn and can't be blocked by walls. Now the deck Brian is playing is so expensive for two reasons. The the first reason is that all these cards are from Alpha, which was the original printed set for Magic the Gathering in 1993. It's very comparable to the first edition base set of Pokemon to Magic the Gathering. The second reason this deck is so expensive is there's no limit to how many of these super powerful cards you can play. By today's standards, you're limited to four of any particular copy of a card in your deck. But back in 1993, you can have as many as you want. Look, Black Lotus, the most expensive card in the game, there's seven of them. So what is the total value of this deck? Well, that's really hard to determine because the value of these cards are changing all the time. So let's focus on what this deck at least costs as of the making of this video. I used eBay sold listings as a barometer for what each card was worth. An Alpha Black Lotus sold for $46,200. An Alpha Ancestral Recall sold for $14,899. An Alpha Time Walk sold for $10,700. Now, I couldn't find any Alpha Mox Sapphires, but there was a slightly less valuable Beta Mox Sapphire sold for $8,600. I also couldn't find any Alpha Time Twisters, but there was a Beta Time Twister that sold for $8,100. Add a $60 Hill Giant and a $51 War Mammoth, and this entire deck will cost at least $676,299. Peter, the, the value of this entire thing here is a million dollars now. A million? Yeah. Way beyond that. So has Magic the Gathering always been pay to win? Let's go take a look at the action. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna have to ante. We're gonna play for ante, right? So, oh, hell yeah. Okay. Let's ante for keeps. Yeah. All right, here we go. Side note, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. That's uh, a horrible. Did card. I answer my like, <laughs> Oh my god. There you go. Now that's a worthy. There's, there's, that's, that's, that's worthy. worthy. Yes. Worthy. Uh, there I don't is. know if I can live without my time walk. So back in 1993, there was something called the ante. Before the game begins, both players revealed the top card of their deck to be part of the ante, and whoever won the match would win those cards. And it's a good thing that Brian has two win conditions in his deck because one of them just got removed by the ante. <laughs> oh draw, my god. Now do we draw our seven cards? <laughs> yes, now we, we draw seven, but we need to roll. Uh, do we have a die? Oh, yeah, we gotta roll. Yeah, let me do it. Oh, we can do it this way. 
Can we do a little lunch okay. off the white cake? Or is this uh, like black paper scissors? Right, right. Yeah. Right. One, two. Wait. Oh, you got me. You got it. Right. You okay. got it. You paper and I was wrong? Yeah, who's paper? Oh, it's scissors. Oh, you're scissors. Brian wins this Rochambeau with Rock versus Peter's scissors. But Brian's confused, asks him, wasn't that paper? Are you paper and I was rock? No, it's scissors. And you know, a lot of people back in 1993, they probably would have said, yeah, that was paper. I'll go first. Okay, you better win. All right, I expect to win. So I got this one. Do you? Really? That's pretty much a game over. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it's game over. I'll draw my eighth card. All right. Yeah, it'll fit in. All right, okay. on Sapphire. That looks smart. Are we, have, are we playing the same deck? <laughs> <laughs> no snapping. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's nice. Ancestral Recall. Oh, yeah. Computer? Oh, that's yeah. familiar. Right. <laughs> He's got a few of those. <laughs> you guys are. Cast the Sapphire. This is like a similar deck. Probably. Cast I, I think we're playing the same deck. Cast the Black Lotus. Oh, Cast yeah. the Black Lotus. My kill condition may be different. Five mock Sapphires in play. Now that's magic as Richard Garfield intended. Alright, I'm gonna cast another <laughs> Ancestral start Recall. Over <laughs> <laughs> you wanna start? You wanna start? So the Grizzly Bears are how you do damage. Uh, yeah, war, uh war, war Man. Man. I war Man. Or I mean Sapphire. War Man. Yeah, you're right. Well, another really, originally, it wasn't Grizzly Bears. It was another uh, thing. I will sacrifice my Black Lotus for red mana. Oh, yeah. I see. Red. Right. This is a joke. <laughs> now, those of you guys who've been watching this deck... Cast a Hill Giant. Hill Giant. Hill Giant. <laughs> okay. The win condition has arrived. Hill Giant needs only to attack seven times, and this game is over. Normally, a 3-3 creature wouldn't be so powerful, but it's backed up by seven Mock Sapphires in play. But it just got me thinking, if you use Time Walk to take an extra seven turns, is this really a turn one kill? We go. wanted something more creative than yeah, that, but yeah, unfortunately Daniel go. forgot. Okay, I'm not right. quite done. Okay, right. Cast Time Walk. All right. Hill Giant, what is that? Two, four? Three, three. Three, three. Saka. Uh... Actually, I can probably do it. All right. End turn, begin that spell. We're actually going to need a die. Attack for three. Three points. You're at 17. Right. 17. 17. Oh, good. Ancestor recall. You're smart enough to do that in your head. <laughs> probably. <Yeah. laughs> for now. <laughs> Like you, notice how, you, know, you notice how Peter's is sitting here yeah. with his with his degenerate cards. <laughs> this is, this is uh, like this, yeah, this is <laughs> Now now Peter, you can't get too upset. After all, this is the game you help bring to the world. This is just a gentle reminder that if you think you can spend thousands of dollars to have the best deck in the game, that eventually you'll face someone who did the same thing. If Magic the Gathering was literally pay to win, Warren Buffett would just win every tournament. My board is growing. I'm gonna keep Ancestral in here. Ancestral <laughs> at some point. Yeah, yeah, you could. That's true. That's so, Peter, would you say Ancestral is the most powerful card in the game? The most powerful card in Magic the Gathering is the credit card, but even that power has its limits. Your opinion. Most powerful. I mean, these are about common. I'm gonna use Ancestral you because it's cool. I'm gonna use some of Oh, okay. You're gonna be oh. <laughs> Yeah, I have an instant now. What? Oh, but I mean, yeah. Right, I'm an incest for you again. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. What'd you just say? Yeah, I, I gotta sort things. I gotta sort things. Right, I'm gonna time lock. <laughs> I, gotta sort, I gotta sort my lotus into my boxes. From my, from, well, basically all the same cards. Right, I have like two, two black lotuses. Okay. This is your blue mana. Right. Oh, I have a time walk. I like how your dad's yeah. like, yeah, you're worthy. You're worthy. Two yeah. time walk turns and four yeah. mana. Worthy to have it. Worthy to play it because I'm not doing very well. Catch time walk again. Okay, yeah. So I have uh, <laughs> three mana turns. <laughs> remaining. Sack my Black Lotus and cast Time Twister! Oh, there you go! <laughs> I think a lot of people can sympathize with Peter at this point. He invites his friend for a good game of magic, draws his hand, hand is great! But his opponent is taking these super long turns and sucking the fun out of the game. And we all know someone that plays magic like this. Uh, Peter, are you having fun oh, yet? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. It's it's next fun. You'll get more ancestral calls on me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Look, if you wanted to play solitaire, you could have just stayed at home. Okay, I have two blue mana floating in three time. I choose. I draw a card. 
That's fine. You can draw more than you. You can draw a few extra. Pick a random one up. <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> you need that one. All right. Uh, using my two, right one right of my right. two blue mana, I will ancestor recall myself. Right. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that when the game was launched, we knew there were decks that would go infinite and so forth. We didn't think that they needed to be controlled because uh, people, would, A, wouldn't get that many cards. Like Six it. extra turns. Right. You're at right. 17. I didn't see many 18 of 18 more damage. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. So Brian proved with enough of his extra turns that he was able to attack for lethal with the Hill Giant. So what would you do with a million dollars? i tell you what I'd do, man. Eight mock sapphires at the same time, man. This game exemplifies why so many rules in Magic got changed to the game that we now play today. Well, that's my video for today. Is Magic the Gathering truly paid to win? Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash like for good old fashioned classic magic. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel or your opponent's gonna top deck their credit card.